what's going on YouTube welcome back to the channel I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on living with the track edition exhaust it's been about three weeks 600 miles for me and I wanted to take you guys along for the ride let you hear what it's like driving with it living with it and give you my impressions so last night I made a video taking a little trip to the gym and I figure I would just go ahead and give my thoughts on it That's efficient mode. Track edition exhaust is crazy. Would you believe that's the quietest mode the car has right now? Until I get back the switch path and put it on so I can get back the valves and have a muffler in the back. Right now, this is my quietest mode. It's probably for the best. I can't connect to the to the music right now, so you can really hear car once again that is the quietest mode that's efficient mode I fucking love this exhaust but the only problem is the drone on a long drive is crazy on the highway windows up windows down just the constant mm, Like that shit will drive you crazy on those power drives and shit and the other thing is i wake up like five in the morning ish and i'm out the house by like 6 6 30 on a bad day so i'm basically waking up the neighborhood when i cold start this car hear that that's still efficient mode so i got the switch path coming from awe and I'm gonna put it on pretty soon because it came, it arrived yesterday and I'm gonna have time off tomorrow. So most likely I'm gonna put the switch path muffler on tomorrow. That way I can get back my um, my valves so quiet mode can actually be quiet. Oh my God, that noise. I love that noise. But man, it's like, you can't, you can't, have this every single day when there's other people to consider you know what I mean so unfortunately I gotta put the switch path on but it's still gonna sound amazing when I get the valves open they'll sound very close to this if not the same oh yeah never never join the belt from this entrance here when it's like that it's fucked up you guys should have came here bro y'all should have been on my side I'm still just rocking it inefficient. I'm still driving it in efficient mode so far. We'll put it in Sport, Sport Plus, get the turbo spooling. You'll love how that sounds. I've had this AWE Track Edition exhaust on for the last three weeks now. I've put 600 miles on it. My first impressions, the first two days, my ears were ringing. Like, I thought I was like hurting my health, my hearing health. The first two days, my ears were ringing. Like, I got used to it pretty quick though. I just love that feeling this exhaust gives you, like when you're driving it and you're stepping on it and it's just like screaming and then when you get the RPMs up and it's just really opening up, it's like you get goosebumps. Like you really just feel like the testosterone just shot up. Like, yo, I wanna go do something. I wanna go lift some weights, break something, I don't know. I love how deep the exhaust sounds. Like it's a very like, like, like deep tone to it. But just like driving around like like street to street like around town i'm fine with the track exhaust i don't really care about that being like loud as a problem but um it was it's for me it's the those long drives on the highway for like extended periods of time and the cold start in the morning those were the two factors where i was like you know what i know better let me get the switch path and and it's gonna reuse my stock um valve motors so I can keep one of the valves closed in efficient mode and be quiet when I want to be low key and stealthy in and out the house in and out the neighborhood respectfully and I can still be Rowdy Rebel when I open up the valves and go Sport Plus and go to Sport you know what I mean oh yeah another thing I love about this track condition exhaust like I'll cruise by I like downshifting with my right foot on the throttle just like a little tap to it Especially if you're in traffic or if you're in like on the even on the, especially on the streets matter of fact You'll be in someone's blind spot and you just want to remind them that you're there so they don't 
mistakenly like try to like change lanes and they don't realize you're in their blind spot so they can't see you and then they sideswipe your shit. It's like I like I love this exhaust because it barks on command. Even in official mode, it just barks on command. See what I mean? I like having a loud car because I feel safer personally. When people are crossing the street not paying attention, when other cars aren't paying attention, they're distracted driving on their phone or or the, or the person about to cross the street is like distracted on his headphones uh, with his music on or he's just watching a video on his phone just walking with his head down like a zombie. I like this loud exhaust because it definitely gets their attention when I want it to. Alright, we're going to hit Sport Plus. attention even if it's good attention bad attention you're gonna know it's here and not just because it's a red bmw and it's an m4 it's fucking rowdy let's put the other window all the way down sorry my bad we're making a video here oh he got a little muffler on him Oh no, it's the JDM shit with that fat ass muffler. Now he probably got some drone drone. I thought I got drone. I know Mitsubishi man over here. He got some drone. I'm gonna go back to efficient. Be a responsible citizen here. Fuck these potholes. There's gonna be one here. See, he's, he's seeing it. You go left, then you go right to avoid this pothole. Cut it back to the left again, another pothole. Well, it's a manhole, but hey, yo, pause. But yeah. Now we're gonna cruise on by. I think I might just cut the video here. But those are my thoughts, my thoughts on the AWE Gen 2, the track edition exhaust. Long story short, um, I love it. I just can't justify it always, always, always being allowed. Like I need back, I need to have back the option of having my valves with the switch pad exhaust with the muffler in the back that they offer. So we're making that move tomorrow. But these were my thoughts. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm coming through with more content. Today's my first day with the GoPro, and I love it. It's very simple to use, clean interface, it has an app on my iPhone. So, you know what? You're gonna get good quality, high quality, and content coming like steady. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Hot Rod M4, baby.